on the behalf of the hosts of the Ministry of Agriculture, I welcome you all today here on this seminar of European Network for Rural Development to share our experiences about the information and communication about rural development. I'm still on the learning curve in terms of the participatory techniques and the methodologies you can apply to engage with people. So hopefully tomorrow will challenge my uh, thinking, but also I think it helped me to kind of take away some ideas that I can uh, apply in the next programming period. I came to tell a story and people were very, very kind in listening to my story. But more importantly for me, I've met so many people who share a passion for trying to create opportunities in rural areas. Just wanted to learn from the, the best practice that, that, that's going on. And uh, I've got to say, I'm going to go back with a big list of jobs to do. My expectation, I think copying is not the worst practice. And I hope to see some very good examples of communication and publicity. And uh, those examples we could um, apply for the, our practice. I am here in Vilnius to, to find other example and to, to, to other knowledge maybe. Uh, I'm very interested in communication 2.0 and uh, how to make people more interactive with a communication campaign. Uh, how to, to make them react uh, and act too. Uh, I want that people um, uh, think rural, sleep rural, eat rural. <laughs> so, and so, how, what, what are the, the channels, the, the best channels to do that? Important, misunderstood, oh, exciting. The, the easiest way would be food, yeah. environment and countryside. It has to be something about um, cooperation or involvement. Th that is really important. Diversity, agri-environment and multi-platform. I'd probably use the word inspiring because there's so many good stories out there. For me, it would be food, agriculture and nature. I would like to communicate possibilities. Realize your potential. Of course, concrete example, easy to understand, added value for the cities. Three words, okay. it's quali quality of life. in particular the local stories. I think learning from your peers is the best thing you can do. I really like the event. Um, this event uh, gives me opportunity just to speak with my colleague from Germany. We just discussed about um, the new communication tool they developed about promoting leader to the broader public and to the potential beneficiaries. So we're just uh, trying to to exchange the information about it and to see if it is possible to, to use it also in Slovenia. Well, I'm again more motivated to get out more into the rural areas. That's where I grew up. I've been living in the city now for almost 10 years and uh, coming here and hearing the different stories, I realize I need to go back more often. Lots of passionate people, really enthusiastic one. This is really nice, really great. And I would just say, go on, <laughs> do it again. <laughs> For understanding, it's about reconnecting to some of uh, the people in urban areas as well, so we don't just talk to ourselves, but just some great ideas to take back home and, uh, and share with other people so that collectively in Europe we can 
make a better world, I think, and redefine prosperity. I think today what I saw was creativity, passion, and this all creating new energies and synergies. So that's, that's what I bring back home, home to Brussels.